Yield farming is not the future of cryptocurrencies. Why? Because it's already here. Liquidity has always been important for exchanges, and today's investors can earn passive interest from their assets while doing literally nothing. Welcome to the Shrimpy YouTube channel, a place where you can learn all about the disruptive sector of cryptocurrencies and finally start building your blockchain education. I'm your host, Felicia, and in this video, we will learn about one of DeFi's crucial features, yield farming. Forget about proof of work and having to spend thousands of dollars on powering your mining farm, we now have a different type of farm powered exclusively by the crypto assets that you already own. Don't believe us? Let's take a look at how it all works. Yield farming, alternatively known as liquidity mining, is a way of using crypto to earn more crypto. Investors would usually buy digital assets and leave them for years in their Trezor wallet while waiting for the top of the bull run to strike, but that's no longer the case. Starting from 2020, members of the DeFi community have decided to remove their crypto from cold storage and start passively earning money. Instead of collecting dust, crypto assets are now put to work to generate more value. Yield farming is pretty much a weird combination of staking and lending. The roles are a bit different, but the main thesis remains the same. You provide money to someone in order to accrue, yield, and earn. The number of platforms that provide these services grows by the day. DeFi Pulse lists Maker, Compound, Curve Finance, Uniswap, and SushiSwap as the most valued projects in this niche, some of which you have already heard about or used. Don't believe the hype? See the data for yourself. In March 2020, DeFi only hosted $530 million in collateralized assets. Today, yield farmers and other participants provide more than $40 billion in liquidity. So how does yield farming work? Decentralized exchanges can't work on their own, and they rarely provide liquidity from their own pockets. Yield farmers step in and fill the void by providing liquidity to these exchanges and earning rewards in return, forming a symbiotic relationship. If we use the most famous DEX as an example, how yield farming works becomes extremely clear. Here, we have a completely decentralized exchange that executes trades not with order books, but with an automated market maker. An AMM is basically a smart contract that holds on-chain liquidity reserves and distributes them to token swappers. Per crypto lingo, we call these reserves liquidity pools, LPs. This entity also sets prices for trading pairs and rewards yield farmers for their contribution. If a trader swaps tokens on Uniswap, he pays a 0.3% fee. The AMM uses reserves from the relevant LP as liquidity for the trade, and the fee is awarded to the yield farmer. Since every participant receives something that he needs in an ecosystem like this, everyone's happy. Do note that in the standard AMM model, liquidity pools are made for each token pair, and all of them have a one-to-one -one token ratio. For example, both Ethereum and Tether have the same dollar value. This is a basic prerequisite, and as a result, all yield farmers must provide both tokens rather than only one. Otherwise, token supplies would be un balanced and unfit for stable trading. Yield farming does sound simple, but there are a few details that you should absolutely know about before starting your journey. As we mentioned, all a farmer has to do is deposit crypto assets as a form of liquidity to a decentralized exchange and reap the profits. But the process entails a lot more steps than that. The first prerequisite is to, of course, own cryptocurrencies. You can farm practically any asset. Most farmers generally use wrapped Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tether, USDC, or DAI to generate yield, but whatever you choose, also make sure to own Ether. Store your assets in a safe crypto web wallet. The best solution is to download and install a MetaMask wallet as a browser extension. Head over to a decentralized exchange like Uniswap and connect your MetaMask wallet with the platform. Visit the pool section, click add liquidity, and select the liquidity pool that you want to farm. Approve your tokens, confirm the MetaMask transaction, and click the supply button to close the deal. Sit back and relax as you watch your APY increase. There is nothing else that needs to be done, and as you have Scene, you'll spend most of your time confirming and approving transactions. But apart from that, there are no difficult technicalities that you have to learn and overcome. The $40 billion DeFi market would be nowhere close to its current size if it were not for yield farming. Decentralized exchanges wouldn't work, flash loans wouldn't be supplied by any liquidity, and governance models wouldn't even exist. Yield farming took the entire blockchain industry in the right direction by making it even more decentralized. Users autonomously control every part of the trading process, working solely with other community members and smart contracts. We now truly have the crypto ecosystem that we have always imagined. 
Naysayers often claim that over-exaggerated hype will lead DeFi to an early grave, comparing it to the ICO mania of 2017 and its eventual death. Can we really compare the two? Decentralized finance is alive and well after more than a year, and market data shows that the parabolic rise has not slowed down. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more crypto content. You can also find us on our website at shrimpy.io and on Twitter and Instagram at shrimpyapp. Thanks for watching.